equivalent fractions using 1 fourth as our example. Let's start with our original fraction, 1 fourth. We can represent this visually using a circle divided into four equal parts with one part shaded. To find equivalent fractions, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number. This is like dividing each piece into smaller equal parts while taking the same proportion of the whole. Let's try multiplying by two. One times two over four times two gives us two eighths. We can see that two eighths represents the same amount as one fourth, just divided into smaller pieces. Let's try another one. If we multiply by three, we get three twelfths. Again, this represents the same portion of the whole, just divided into 12 equal parts instead of four. We can continue this pattern. By multiplying by four, we get four sixteenths. By multiplying by five, we get five twentieths. And so on. All of these fractions are equivalent to one fourth because they represent the same portion of the whole. Remember to find equivalent fractions. First, multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number. Second, simplify if possible. And third, verify that the new fraction represents the same